Beck, I'm so bored. Have we got enough toilet rolls to do the science activity yet? Whoa! All right, everyone, grab some toilet rolls and get ready because today we're gonna be making this. Are you ready? Then let's get science. To make your own marble run, you will need toilet rolls, painter's tape, a hot glue gun, jumbo pop sticks, paper straws, paper, weights, I'm using these nuts, scissors, a hole puncher, a pen and pencil, and a ruler. This is a guide for making all 10 track pieces. We'll be making the single track, the double track, the triple track, the slower link, the faster link, the zigzag, the giant leap, the flush, the water fountain, and the track changer. The full steps are in the description below. Print them off and follow along with this video. Make sure you get an adult to help you with the scissors and hot glue gun. Let's go. The single track. This is great for connecting tracks in small spaces. The double track. This is great for catching marbles after jumps and special track pieces. The triple track. This is great for moving the marble over long distances. The slower link. This is perfect for slowing the marble down so that it doesn't enter a special track too fast. The faster link. This is perfect for speeding a marble up before a jump. The zigzag. This is a great way to make the triple track piece more fun. The giant leap. This track piece gets the marble flying through the sky. The type one pivot. Whilst not a track piece itself, you will need this for special track pieces. The type two pivot. This is also used for a special track piece. The flush. This is a special track piece used to change the direction the marble is moving. The water fountain. This is a special track piece that looks awesome when it moves the marble from one bucket to the next. The track changer. This piece can be used if you want a marble run with two separate tracks. It will switch between the left track and the right track. Now that you've made these pieces, you can make a whole heap of different marble runs. I did a lot of experimenting with the different tracks. The special tracks had to be used where the marble was moving slowly and the giant leap had to be used where the marble was moving fast. You can tilt the single, double and triple tracks up and down to help speed up or slow down the marble. All right, now that we've made the marble run, let's try it out. Don't worry if it doesn't work every time. Move the pieces a bit and try again. Whoa, that is so cool. Try experimenting with different track pieces to see which ones work the best together. One last tip, use the painter's tape to attach the pieces to the wall. You wanna use painter's tape because it comes off a lot easier than masking tape. I hope this video helps you to make your own marble run. In my next video, I'm gonna explain the science behind it all. I'm also going to double the number of track pieces to see what we can make. So stay tuned for part two in two weeks.